Hello YouTube, this is Sean Jake for this Air versus Airsoft. Whoops. And today I'll I will be reviewing uh the German Tiger One tank. And I can't really shoot it. It's you can't really be accurate because you can't, you know unless you went like look through the on the barrel you could be accurate, but no one wants to do that. And right here is where you load up the BBs. Right in here. There's a little hole here. Like this. Sorry, I'm using my iPad. Oh, where is it? See the right there? There's a little compartment for that. Uh, let me fix that up. Okay. Wait. Hold on. It's really awkward, this case. Okay, there we go. And here, let me just close that. Uh, this is how you turn on the. Well, it's kind of hard to open. This is how you turn on the uh, gun. Right now it's off, so I don't want it to shoot. Just a little switch, and it'll say on and off. I'm turning it on right now, so I'm gonna uh, drive it. And I just charged up the battery right here. Probably too much, but it takes it takes a 7.2, 1700 milliamp battery. It's kind of I wonder if you could use it for airsoft. I'm gonna try that sometime. Because it has the same connection, I think. So, yeah. And let me just get this side. As you can see, there's a little pull tab right here. Pull that. It's a little bit hard up in the beginning. A little thing comes off. Drop that for right now. It's kind of hard to keep this staying on there. Yeah. Okay, put connect that. It's a little trick to getting us in. I still don't know it. Let's try to get this in. Come on. Come. On. Uh. And when you do this, the BBs might fall out. I've done that once. Okay, there we go. And then the wide side is the two things goes on the side that doesn't have the tab and then you pull it back again push that in close it there's a little on button but first and um there's the little channels right there and let me just get the controller right here um it's shiny yeah the on button turn this on first a little light will appear I don't know if you can see it but it's right there yeah and you can do uh, demos. I wouldn't. I didn't know how to turn it off. And you can do three tanks at once by that. And yeah, and then turn this on first, like I said. And then turn this on. There's a little switch. I'll say on and off. And boom. Like that. Hold on just a second. Hold on just a second. I have the phone. Sorry about that. My sister was calling. Yeah. She's kind of annoying. but. And then... It does not like carpet for turning. And when you go forward, little lights turn on. And to shoot... Well, I'm going to turn that. See? Forward is this, the right one. You go forward. Yeah. Back. Turn. To turn the barrel, you turn turn it like that with the left one. Let me just shoot at this over here. And it does, I don't think it likes going left. So let me just take this out of the case just for a second. There we go. Okay, so use this. Sorry if we can't get it really lined up. Oh, it's really hard. Okay, so I'm just going to shoot it. See, I'd use point twelves. Well, where is it? Because point twos are a little heavy. And then let me just give me some paper. Let's see what's this? Um, it won't go through cardboard. It's not that. It's like two hundred FPS or something. Ah, here's one. 
Hold on. Here we go. It will most likely go through paper. If not, it's crap. But it will. It goes like 25 meters or something on the box. Here we go. Yep, straight through. As you can see, it does go through paper. Right there. Yes. And thank you for watching. Oh, this goes about like 5 miles an hour. I got it from Hobbytron. And uh, they didn't tell me when when it got here or anything. Here, let me bring this back. So it's straight. Oh, and down on the left one uh, makes the barrel go up or down. So, yeah, if you can see that, it goes up and down. Let me just turn the tape off. Uh, where is it? Right there. Okay. You can get the uh, metal version for the gears. I didn't know where to get it, so I just got plastic. It's fine. I got this yesterday, Christmas. Wait, no. Today. Yeah, yesterday. Yeah. Seems like two days ago, but tracks are fine. I took it in mud. I don't think you're supposed to. Well, not like thick mud, but wet dirt. And they have all wheel suspension, as you can see. It's kind of awkward right now, but see, the tank goes down a lot. You don't really use it, but it's still good to have. And yeah, plastic version. I don't think I got smoke version, and I didn't put in the batteries for sound. Because I didn't want it, and it could be too loud. I'll try it, though. And we're here full of this antenna. It really hurts. I got whipped in the face by it a couple times. And thanks for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe, and goodbye.